Hey, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to um, uh, do a little science here. Uh, we've got the um, scientist inside the lab. We've got enough science to send back home. I'm going to go ahead and uh, transmit this science if I can remember how. Uh, <clears throat> I grab this. I thought we had a lot in here. Give me just a moment while I figure this out. It's been a while since I played. Control, control. I'm going to go into the uh, dark side of the planet here in just a moment. Sunset. No crew control. <clears throat> it's because the pilot is in. Let's transfer her. Transfer the pilot. Oops, this one. Transfer crew. Here. There we go. <clears throat> Transmit science. We'll take a look at the uh, connections. You can see I have a connection there. It's a lot of science, it takes a little bit of time. the sun. If I was to launch to the moon now, this would be a pretty good good time to launch to the moon uh, because by the time the moon got here, you know, you would be on the side that has sunlight. In case you're launching a probe, uh, you don't want to be trying to make maneuvers on the dark side. You might run out of battery power or something like that. So this would be a good time to launch to both the Minmus and Moon. Almost 50% uh, there. It's using the small antenna, the Communitron, Communitron 16. Start the timer here. I could speed up time and go faster. Uh, here's a asteroid that we brought into orbit. We can go do some science on it. I think I've already got a sample. <clears throat> of course, we could drill it for fuel if we needed to. Uh, this one, I think this one actually has fuel in it. I called it Dead Stick. I renamed it Dead Stick. 91%. This, I think, yeah. This was a, uh, I don't want to say failed mission, um, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted. It didn't end in the result that I wanted. There's a lot of, a lot of data there. We got 237 science, of course. Sometimes my science is um, reduced because I've already completed the tech tree. Uh, let's check out this. This was a capsule that was at Minmus, I believe. It was at Minmus. It was doing science. Uh, the idea behind this was in the middle here is a 
a container, a storage unit, in which I placed, I think it was like 36 experiments. Put the experiments in here, uh, detached it from, uh, you know, the ship uh, that was around Minmus. Essentially, the uh, scientists would do some experiments, bring up the information, transfer it over into here, put it in the science lab, um, uh, put it in here, and this was to come back to Kerbin and land. I had parachutes on it. Um, however, the fuel that's on board, it did have enough fuel <clears throat> to get it into uh, this orbit here. As it came back from Minmus, it burned up in the atmosphere. Okay, so, okay, it's coming in too fast. Uh, so I used some fuel to slow it down and attempted to come into the atmosphere again. Again, it blew up. Uh, got too hot. Re-entry. Destroyed it. So what I did was I just slowed it down and put it into the best orbit that I could. And then later I sent a, a scientist up to come and get it and bring it back down. Uh, to bring the experiments back down. Um, didn't work out like I had planned, and I've got several waiting <clears throat> to come back. Uh, but, you know, as I know already, it's not working out like I planned, so. <clears throat> uh, I'm on the dark side right now. Let me speed up time. The plan was to, you know, fill these up. I think some of them have um, data in them waiting to go back to Kerbin. Yeah, 39 in this one. We've got 39 experiments in here ready to go back. Now, these experiments have already been placed into here. We got the research on the moon, uh, Minmus, brought it up, put it into here, and then put the rest of it into here to send back. You can do that. You can kind of get that that uh, double. It's not a it's not a cheat or anything like that. You actually put the science into here. Um, and then what you have left over or did I do two? Can't remember now if I did two. And then brought them back up to here. So this one is ready to go as well. We're going to send this information home. Transmit science. Yeah, it's using the bigger antenna here. It'll be quicker. So another 500 science is going back home, but, you know, because I reduce it down a little bit. Let me turn this on so you can watch that if you want to. But um, 59, 60%. Yeah, this is going to be sent back to Kerbin, and it'll just have to stop in orbit. Hopefully I can swing it to where I get a better... A better um, orbit and you know let my pilot and scientist go up from Kerbin get the information and return it to Kerbin to get the full to get the full um, experiment you know, the full full data so there we go we're going back to you see I can put 750 and I know I've got some experiments up here <clears throat> to move to the lab. Let's see. And here's the ship that will go to the surface um, and then return to orbit. And I've got, oh, I'm out of fuel in that tank, out of fuel in that one, got a little bit in that one. So it's probably due for a. Um, <clears throat> A fill up. I may send uh, a refuel out here unless I have one on the surface. Unless I have a refuel, which I'm certain I'm mining right now. I am mining. Um, <clears throat> Minmus E4 OL. Don't remember what OL was. I've got marked. 
Badlands. That's so I can do the experiment in the Badlands or, you know, I, I wrote all this down. I thought I had a, um, a group right in here that was doing, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Yeah. Let's go down here, take a look on the surface. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got uh, scientists doing some experiments down here. Now, more than likely, they're ready to go. So, let's go ahead and uh, send some data back as well. Oh, did that not stay? 287. So, I'm only getting, what, 50? I'm only getting 50 out of 500. Let's uh, transmit the science. <clears throat> That's going to use the communitron. Communitron. And, you know, this one can drill for ore. It's full. I could probably actually do some um, transfer of some fuel. Oh, I already have. So, this tank is full. Don't have any. Yeah, I've got three experiments in this. Um, uh, guidance unit, remote guidance unit right here. Got three experiments, more than likely. Did I set this up to go up? I think this is the launch vehicle. It's only using um, RCS. <clears throat> hmm. No, it doesn't have. Yeah, yeah, it does. No, decouplers. So. This was uh, sent, it was sent down in three units after the units landed. I connected them together. Of course, you had to test all this on Kerbin. Uh, set up for battery use. Each one of these is individually uh, flown or driven uh, with command units. As long as you have a, <clears throat> a connection, don't want to be on the dark side of the planet, not be able to control this, so you would need the uh, communication links around minimus so yeah we can connect 60 percent uh, this is called the flats or the the great flats it's really good to um, that's why i like landing on minimus it's just uh, easier and that's why we do these experiments that's kind of what i'm going to do this this episode is go around and get myself some science could make some more monopropellant. That was full. That's got fuel. No, I don't understand. I don't remember what I was doing. It's been such a long time since I played. More than likely, it was to bring fuel. Small amounts of fuel, because I can land with just a little bit. I would save, you know, like 10% uh, uh, of it. So really, the entire thing is lifting off on RCS fuel, which is just a reaction control system, RCS. Here's the drills, if I wanted to drill. Okay, there goes the data. So I've got some more data there. Uh, let's see. All this is full. This is ready to make fuel. So let's go ahead and start making RCS fuel, monopropeller. And if the unit gets too hot, that's what these um, uh, thermal control systems will do. That will take the heat uh, from the unit, It'll take the heat from the unit so that it doesn't get hot. And, and, uh, as your as your core temperature here increases, if it goes over a thousand, it'll start overheating, and then it won't be as uh, efficient. The load will be. We'll see if this stops on a thousand or if it continues to go up. See, thermal efficiency is at 100%. Looks like we're going to get a little hot. So it's starting to diminish the load. Uh, hopefully, sometimes I can. Well, let's pin that for just a second. Hopefully, sometimes I can go ahead and fill up the monopropellant tanks. Uh, here it's increasing my monopropellant. You can see that up here as well. Monopropellant. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll fill up before it gets too too hot and I lose you know greater efficiency. 
So, you know, it's just something you have to work work on or spend time doing. I mean, they're certainly not going anywhere at the moment. Um, so it looks like they have been up here one year, 206 days, I think is what this mission um, estimated time or mission elapsed time. Uh, you can switch over to the Universal Time. Uh, the game that I've been playing is Year 2, Day 344. There's 400 days, I think, or 420 days in a year on, on Kerbin. So, uh, it's almost been three years I've been playing this game. This load. We're at 98. We're at 409, 410, going 410. So, we just need a little bit more. Fuel efficiency is still pretty good. I mean, it's sometimes if I was running everything, if I was running the drills, if I was running, you know, a lot of things, it would get hot quicker. <clears throat> Here, this is using the ore that I drilled to make the monopropellant. So we're just storing up monopropellant right now. In fact, you know, I think I was using these monopropellants as ballasts because if I couldn't line up these connections here, if I couldn't line up, I would transfer, no, I was using ore, that's right, I was using ore, I would transfer ore from the front to the back, or from the back to the front to make this connection lower or higher, uh, you, some people will do it with landing gear, they'll put the landing gear down, which will push up the, uh, it'll, it'll raise the connection there, so, uh, as soon as we get full, Oh, yeah, we're full. There we go. There we go. Everything's cooling down now. Uh, it's completed its its task. So, um, let's see. Do we have, yeah, we've got uh, fuel there. But I can drive the entire thing to any biome I want to. There's um, the Great Flats. Of course, this big thing would have to stay kind of level. It would be hard-pressed to go up a hill and maintain all the batteries that I've got on it. You can see every battery that I've got on here. <clears throat> I thought I had a bigger, um, big battery on here, but I don't. Here's some of the science experiments. Uh, log of the gravity data. data. I've already got it. So I'd have to go to a different biome. But right here, the depend that. I'll show you. <clears throat> Uh, give me a control unit somewhere. <clears throat> oh, I didn't have the antenna on this one. Yeah, again, I didn't have the ability to open CurbNet access, but this one will give it to me. So here we go, CurbNet access. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And do I have an antenna? That'll tell me the, this is high concentration of ore right here, which I would have found by using CurbNet and, um, uh, let's see, this, ScanSat. Here's the ScanSat, remember ScanSat uh, tells you where, where concentrations, heavy concentrations of, uh, uh, of ore are. Resource toggle toggle the overlay. There we go. Turn up. Hmm. So here is our base that we were just at and doing the drilling. Whoops. And you can see how brighter this purple is. Um, so this would have been where high concentrations of ore were. So I actually landed on an equatorial orbit and then drove the entire uh, base down to here. And this is the refueler. Let me go to that real quick and check that out. The reason I called it the refueler. Okay. Okay, this is interesting because this has a nuclear engine, which does not use oxidizer. It just uses liquid fuel. And 
I must have been transferring some up and down from here. Most of that was gone by just getting it to here, but with the nuclear engine, rocket engine, everything gets hot, so you have to have the um, uh, thermal uh, coolers on there, uh, radiators. Uh, we went into the shadow, so let's get back out here. Everything's got connection. Good connection. But you can see how this is pretty close to, you know, going over. So if I was to wait until the planet, I'm sorry, the moon Minmus rotates around, this base will eventually be underneath the blue line, probably like right here. So it just came through. So I'll wait another orbit and it'll be over here under the blue line. And I can launch to meet up and rendezvous with the refueler don't remember what it was there for. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been here. Uh, what is this one? Uh, it's just Minima Science. Anytime Mission Control says, hey, I need you to do a science from space around Minmus, I just come here, grab the thermometer. Oh, I already did some. And then just send it. Now, it says zero, but when Mission Control asks you for... Um, data around Minmus. It, it doesn't care what it gets, as long as it gets some kind of data. Um, let's see what our orders are. Uh, go on an orbital space walk near Duna. We're nowhere near Duna right now. Um, transmit or recover scientific data from space around the moon. So let's go do that right now. And then that's probably where I'll end this. All they want, all Kerbin wants, all the Kerbal Space Center wants, is some data. They don't care what it is. <clears throat> it could be a, a temperature reading that gives no scientific data. But uh, as long as I do it, I'll get money for it. It is a contract. So, now we're above the moon. We probably have some data here ready to go. Yep, 496. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just send this. And it'll uh, it'll check that off and say, okay, you did that. So here we go. Oh, I need a... Um, do I have a pilot? Got a pilot. So what's going on here? Let's see. Again, we don't have the oh transmit science. Yeah, there it is. I probably forgot what I was looking for. Okay, so it's using this satellite dish. It's a little slower, but it is faster than the small little pointy one like right here. It's quicker than that one. It's quicker than that one. Let's see the connections here. Yeah, it's a bounce. So we are bouncing the information. See how it's on this side of the planet? Yeah, there. I know that's not accurate, but we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna say it is. Uh, I called it atmospheric bounce, but there's no atmosphere on the moon. So uh, there's a lander landed. So we are bouncing off of a Gravioli satellite. It's probably just a, one experiment on here that circles in a um, polar orbit. And I can come back to here every now and then and check to see if I'm over a new biome. And if I am, I'll do a, gravi a gravity scan and send it back to So here we've gotten one, two, three laboratories that I've had set up for days and days and days. And they're doing science from data that's gathered on the surface, brought to the station, put into the laboratory, sent remotely with the, you know, the antenna back to Kerbin for science. I don't do anything. I just get the science up here 
and send it back. And it always, you know, it'll, it'll, like when I was doing stuff out at um, Eve or Jewel as I'm going out that way, I speed up time. This starts creating data again. I get eight data per eight science per day. And it's really easy, easy way to get um, data. And it's not a cheat. Uh, you know, you, you get this data by going to the planet and coming back. Um, here's the lander that I use. So, so yeah, he, he'll go down. Let's see if I've got some experiments on here. Yeah, there's a temperature scan. Oh, you can see it did check on. Uh, check that off. Transmit or recover scientific data from space around the moon. So we did that. Um, check that off. We just received experimental data from space around the moon. Good work. They gave me forty-four thousand dollars plus, you know, five thousand more for completing it. Dollars, Kerbal bucks, money, whatever you want to use. The space Center. So we'll close this. Yeah. So here's some science experiments. Uh, this is ready to transfer, but what I would more than likely do is put it into the laboratory. Uh, let's see why I can't do that. I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, more than likely, have I sent it already? can't put it in there so more than likely I put it into the laboratory and then as I orbited the moon I grabbed it again and I can transfer the data that way I, I really can't remember how I'm how I do it but I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it I mean that's just more science more money Well, no, I'm going to hold off for just a second. Let's see what this one is. Can't put it in. And maybe I can't put it in because it's it's almost full. Sometimes, uh, you know, 614 to 750, it'll give me... Observe Mr. Goo. Won't let me put it in off or on transmitting. We'll reset that one. I've done a lot of these already. Observe. Does some experiments there. I've done that one. Let's reset that. Yeah, just kind of, you know, staying here. Uh, nothing's, nothing's due for 62 more days out the Joule system. Um, so right now we're just doing some stuff around Kerbin, Moon, and Minmus. Uh, anyway, this is uh, Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching.